Hey guys, uh, in my previous video, uh, you have saw I made this animation and also motion track the whole scene. If you are interested, go and check it out. But on the in this video, we're gonna have a look and how I made this cloud simulation, like this uh, unfolding or rolling down or whatever you wanna call it animation in Blender. It's uh, super easy. Just need uh, some uh, step. So let's get started. I'm gonna open a new project go to general and the new project will be open and i'm gonna delete everything okay so in order to make it possible uh you need two things first of all you gotta go to preferences and search for a curve well you have so many add-ons for curve like i have add curve but you have to turn on these extra objects and also simply five curves and then save it the preferences because we need them okay so now it's time to add a plan like that and uh, i'm not going to scale it i'm just going to leave it as it is because i just want to show you how things works or maybe i can go to edit mode i'm going to scale it up like that and then i'm going to subdivide this many time as possible to have a detailed simulation and then what i'm going to do i'm going to select these uh these line and it's actually let me just do it and you will understand why i'm doing this i will select the this line of vertices and then i will go to this data and click this plus icon and then click assign we will use this later on and you will understand what i mean by these okay so now the plan is added now it's time to add the curve so click add and go to curve move down and here you have curve spirals which is archimedean and just do it and you will have a panel here here are so many options but you just need to increase these to something like eight and then the radius make it something like minus 0 0.09 like that but i think the turns are so much i don't need that much turns uh because we don't have like you know i don't want to make it let me just decrease it like that. Okay, I think it's fine. Now the curves it is added. And I think I just need to slightly edit this. So I'm going to select this outer vortex. And I'm going to click G and move it to here. And then that one and click G. Move it here. Okay. So I'm just going to move this one also. And okay so now go to object mode and then what you're gonna do you're gonna rotate these on x-axis on negative degree like that and then move it to that side <laughs> i'm gonna rotate these on y-axis negative y-axis like that and i'm gonna move it to here if i go to edit mode oh now, as you can see, this is on that side. So I think I'm going to rotate these on X axis 90 degree and now it will be fixed. OK, so I'm going to move it slightly down like that to bring it to the middle of the spiral. And now what you're going to want to do is to just add, you just need to apply everything. Control A, apply all transforms and then make the origin to center. And come to modifier and then click uh, deform and then it's curve and just select the spiral curve. And now if you just move these on different axes, it will not be have the same as it's supposed to be. So I'm going to change it to minus X. And now if I move it, let me just try it. Uh, wait, why it's not deforming? Let me just 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 try different axes. If I move on the Z axis, okay. Let me just okay. It's working. As you can see, you have to set these deform axis to Z, and uh, you will have this spiral kind of thing. And uh, just need to move it slightly like that. And now this outer side, if I go to edit mode, or this outer side is pinned here. So uh, what we're going to do, we, uh, we're going to 
we can, if I try to scale it down or scale it up, let me just, just go for X axis. Okay, I think it's fine. Uh, if you want to make it tight, then you can do it in the spiral section that is uh, that we just added, and you can play around with the with the growth of, or you can say the radius of the spiral when we just added the spiral. And now we can't change anything because spiral is added and we have lost the uh, the tab that was appeared here. So that's why we can't change it. But you have understood how things work. So I hope you got it. And now we have this modifier. We need to apply it and then delete the spiral. Just get rid of this. And now you have something like spiral. You just need this. Okay. So we're going to make the center like I'm going to, I'm just going to change this sun origin to center of the mass. And now what we need to do, we need to go to physics and then we're going to click cloth. Now, if we play it, uh, it's going to fall because actually we have to change some settings in cloth simulation. So first of all, you have to come to ship and then in the pin group, select the pin group that we assigned into the line of vertices. And what it does, it just pin the cloth up there wait oh we have pinned it to the wrong side so i think i'm gonna click ctrl z and if i go to edit mode you can see it's on the side and i think it's not the the, the axis we want so we're gonna click remove and re-add them just re-add them i want this one so i'm just gonna go to a uh, side view and i'm gonna select this line and i'm gonna click assign that's it now if we go to our physics tab and just I'll assign this group to these and now if you play it it's gonna work perfect now as you can see it's uh it's going through the cloth it's because we're gonna click go to collision and we're gonna click self collision and i i think it will solve the problem yeah it's solving it it's looking good i'm gonna shed it smooth and uh, you can increase the quality step of the of the simulation here, which will make it better. And if I just replay it, uh, as you can see, it's going super nice. You can play around with the preset, like when I click cotton and it will behave different. Let me just play it. As you can see, it's behaving different. But if I go to a silk and I'm going to replay it, it will act different. Or you can go for a leather, for example. And it's played very slow, but it will different. It, as you can see, we don't have so much ripples. We're going to see that it's very, you know, hard. So you can just play around what you are making. If it's a cloth, just go for cotton. If it's leather, just go for leather. That's it. And you just need to assign your texture into it and it will be done. It does look really good. So guys, thanks for watching. If you want to get some same kind of content, again, just consider to subscribe and like this video if you're interested. And also check out our previous video because we got some amazing topics there. And, uh, you know, they were pretty good because we have done so many VFX video like motion tracking, then adding product into it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next one.